what can we do to mitigate the risks of the current volatile moment? Dr. Franz Kurnier in this video unpacks his answers in a special after hours session with some of our clients. I, I, I can't and I won't give you investment advice, uh, but I will give you strategic advice. And these are very different things. What you do with your money, the firm steps you take, you go talk to your investment manager. But you can share the ideas you picked up in briefings like these. In, in absolute uncertainty, and I think a global uncertainty matched with what South Africa now faces is, 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 is virtually absolute. Strategy does become quite simple, risk mitigation strategy, because it becomes diversification. It's, it's not a case of, of picking a winner because we couldn't, I, I wouldn't try that for myself in, in, in this climate. It's a question of diversifying yourself as widely as possible. And that means far more than diversification across asset classes. We wrote a book earlier in the year uh, that we published at the peak of the pandemic that we called The Rise or Fall of South Africa. And it was, it was a book in which we, we pontificated about how we believe South Africa and, and the world will evolve over really the next two decades. And at the behest of, of, of my publisher and, and also as a consequence of, of the questions like these, we put a chapter into the book about what you should do. And our advice is this, segment your life, your broader life into four quadrants. One quadrant is, is, is the question of your wealth. What are you going to do with that? And is that suitably diversified. The second quadrant uh, that we told you to go and diversify is your career and, and your work and your business. Are you in a position where, where I'd, I'd be terribly worried, you, you were a civil servant, you had had one job your whole life, you could do only one thing and you could do it in only one place. Uh, you, you're thereby exposed to a great degree of risk. Rather put yourself in a position where you're a more a workerpreneurial individual, uh, you can uh, do multiple things, you can move across industries, etc. The third thing we quadrant we told you, and that goes for your business as well. Do you supply one big government client for tenders? I'd be terrified if I was in that position. Do you work for a myriad of clients uh, right across the world? Uh, you're in a much stronger position. The third quadrant we told you to go and look at is your place in the world. Where are you? And do you have to stay there? Are, are you a person who uh, perhaps you live in Randburg in Johannesburg? That is your only base of operations. You can never move out of that. If, if, if Johannesburg uh, deteriorates and uh, uh, bad governance, uh, uh, crime ridden, you know, that's your future. Do you have the prospect to move to to George, which many people have done, for example, and insulate yourself to an extent against or what you might see as the downsides of Johannesburg life. Could you move to Tilburg before you even get to the question of, or could you move into other parts of the world? The more choices you have around that, the more uh, uh, robust you become in the face of unpredictable risk. And the final quadrant of that matrix was your children and your family because they weigh on your, on, on your mind. You, you're responsible for them and their futures. And what are their choices? Are, are, are they stuck in, in dead-end jobs and careers? Uh, are they educated in a manner that they would be in demand in any industry right around the world? And our advice, and it's in the book, it's of course the same this evening, is to do really well. I, I, my, my colleagues and I, uh, many of us, we have options around the world. We, we choose to be in South Africa. We think it's an absolutely great place to be in. And, and if you meet us over a, a drink, we, we, we're pretty, you know, upbeat about our own prospects in the country. And the reason is choices in volatile, very volatile environments like South Africa is now, the more choices you have, the more robust you become. And if you have no choices, you're at great risk because then the decisions that are taken by other people around you, so policymakers on prescribed assets or printing money that triggers terrible inflation or expropriation, or whatever the, the case might be, you become a victim of that and you cannot escape. If you want to survive, you don't need to know with precision what is coming. You just need to be aware of what might come 
and create sufficient choices for yourself that you can anticipate it in advance, that's quite easy to do on the two to three year view. There's really no excuse in South Africa to say you didn't know it would, it would happen and to navigate around it. And if you're in that position, I think in and of yourself, your business, your career, your family, in that little narrow world, there's no reason why you shouldn't be pretty upbeat about uh, your own prospects in, in South Africa's uh, volatile future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a like. For more of our insights and analysis, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't already, sign up for our 30-day free trial, which will give you access to exclusive client content. Follow the link in the description box below.